the Google Classroom um, is divided into the each class periods. Um, and so they're, they're announced, we put announcements in there, uh, just interesting links in there. We put assignments in there. Um, we're encouraging, um, although there's some students who still want to write and write on paper and that's fine, we're encouraging them to learn how to answer in a document, save the document, push the document to the teacher, you know, because that's what their world's gonna be like. Mm -hmm. A lot of these kids have had a cell phone in their hand since they've been five or some sort of touch screen, so that they, they, they have, but like the business skills, the things that they're gonna need later on in life, they need this. They otherwise, they otherwise they will just have the entertainment factor or the texting factor. They don't have the other, they don't have the file saving factor and the collaborate on a document factor. So um, it's interesting to watch the students now evolving into being really good with their computers because at first they were like, what do I do? Mm -hmm. We're trying to teach them how to collaborate through using those Google documents as well. So um, there are some assignments where um, they'll all collaborate on one document and add to it whether or not it's their uh, plan for their experiment they're developing together as a group or or whatnot so they do collaborate through there as well. So when I use Google Classroom to conference with students the, you can open up a dialogue and you can um, they, there's documents there that you can make comments on and the students can go back you can take items make comments return that item to them electronically and then they can fix it and then they can you know make comments back to you so they're you're creating a dialogue that doesn't have to happen one-on-one -on -one sitting next to the student so those those kind of more independent students who can do those things are able to do them in, in that way too.